all relationships last, and this one was surely doomed to failure, especially when you're this colour. Incredibly, Roy has known this fallow buck since 2008, first filming him as a two-year-old, making him ten now. Here he is in 2012, when Roy was recovering from surgery. And here he is again last year. Right, again on the rut this morning, and it is time. It's a, a beautiful, beautiful frosty morning. It's about two degrees at the moment, and it is exactly what the doctor ordered. We've just heard a grunt on there, so I'm hoping it's a, a reasonable size buck. I'm really hoping it might be our old boy, so we can have a look at him and get an assessment of him, just see how he's looking. If he presents a shot on this beautiful October morning, is it time to take him or just doff the cap once again, even if the headgear is slightly mangled? Unfortunately, my hounds got my very lovely Stetson. Uh, it's a Stetson crushable <laughs> water envelope. I've, if anybody can help and send me a new one, I would love it. They are my favourite hands. They're superb. How big is your head? Very large. Goes with the rest of me. As we enter the wood, the grunting is clear. Roy feels we need to crawl to have any chance of a closer look. Then to the right, we see a buck through the trees. He must have winded us, but he has more pressing things on his mind. Roy clocks him and thinks he might have lost form. As the white buck goes in, it displaces a younger animal. Roy knows this one from last year. He keeps coming. Roy decides it's time to try and call his buck off the stand using the antlers. At this point, we are unclear what Roy is thinking, so we just keep filming.
the white buck drops back and turns broadside. Roy has had time to consider his options. The fallow leaps to the heart shot and drops 20 yards behind. Even after that shot, another buck comes within range and Roy asks Dom to take that unimpressive youngster. It's a very bittersweet emotion at the moment because he's a... He's an old boy we've um, we've encountered, and um, you feel like you've known them for many years. So. Hello, old man. But unfortunately, you know, that is what deer management oh, is about. Isn't. You've got to manage the herd, and you've got to take the right animals out at the right time. So that was his right time. A closer look confirms that Roy has made the right decision. Oh, mate. Oh. What a shame. Oh. Well, you can see he's a very, very thick old boy. But, I mean, he's never had the greatest of heads, but we've always had a bit of fun together. And his palms are definitely shrinking back. He's very, very old and gnarly. But, as I say, it really is a, a shame when you've got to take a buck that you've known for so many years, but as I said before, unfortunately, it is part of the process. So, although it is a, a real shame to um, know it's going to be the last time we ever see him on the rotting stand, it's probably the best thing for him because uh, you know, if we do get a hard winter, then... Uh, yeah, as they are getting older, they do struggle to cope with it. So. Oh. so with the second animal we shot this morning, we were only going to take one off the rutting stand. We were either going to take a young buck or the old boy. But <laughs> just after I took the shot on the old boy, this young lad came up. Although dealing with um, wild herds, you can't be as selective as you can when you're looking at park animals. Yeah, that really isn't the sort of head you want to pass on. So we know we've got another couple of younger three, four year old animals with much better heads than this. So we'll hopefully let them come through um, and fingers crossed they'll start to come back in on the rutting stands. And in another five or six years time, then uh, we, uh, we might uh, have a look at them. Let's see, it has been a, a very odd morning. Um, because when he, when the, the old boy first came in, I was sitting watching him and, you know, I was thinking, okay, yeah, it is, probably is time, but then I didn't want to take the shot. And then as he walked off, you know, you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, you know, time is, time is of the essence and, um, you know, if we're going to do it, then this will probably be the year to do it. He, uh, he did look stunning though. No. There we go. All right, let's get these sorted. Breaking from tradition, Roy has been using a new rifle this morning. He has a ticker on test in 2506 that we're going to do some reloading with. This was its first outing in the field. We were using standard federal ammunition in it this morning, but we're going to be doing some reloading. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that little rifle performs. As a stalking rifle, it has been absolutely superb. It's nice and light. Um, it's got a, one of the new Stalin mods on it. And getting it through here, it's been really superb. It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. And so it's, it was quite nice not having that uh, that extra length not that i've ever been blessed with extra length <laughs> but it's, it, it's been quite nice not having a, a long one that bashes around and hits the bushes too much people love watching and appreciating deer it's a shame that many don't understand that those who choose to take on the responsibility of managing them love deer too <laughs> <laughs>